this is my 1993 Buick 4D Express Skylark. All right, now the next thing is my radio. I mean, this is the perfect radio if you wanna just pop in a cassette tape that you got from the general store, right? You know, like Johnny Cash, you know, different artists like that, right? So, but my actual radio is broken, so I take out my 2006 Nexus, right? And then I go ahead and just play my country music through that. So, nah. so that's so that's what, what, what I like to do. Now, I always keep my Little League hat with me, it just, I, I mean, it keeps my mind focused on childhood and how fun it was. And like, I was going to be pro, but you, you know. You don't mind if I wear that? No, it's okay. Go ahead. But be careful, because I've, I've had that for years now. Your childhood don't seem fun. This hat sucks. Okay. It's, it's, it was given to me by, by my father. I mean, it's. It, I didn't have it, a father. It, it means a lot. I didn't have a father, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm sorry about that, sir. So, um, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, cooling here. So, we got um, hot, cold. Uh, we have four different levels um, and just Damn. different settings, right? So, and then even look at, watch, watch. It's a back defrost. Now, if you would turn turn around, see those black black lines on the, on the windows? I see them. Those are custom high-tech things that just like defrost the back window during a cold, stormy Tennessee night, all right? So um, let's go ahead and talk about the glove box, actually. Now, this is broken, so my key won't work, so Here's what you have to do. You gotta bang it twice and then pull it down. You're good at banging. Oh yeah. You're so, good at banging. So that Wait, is- is he good at banging? He good at banging. I can see that. <laughs> I can see. I can see. Okay, me, keep sir. on going. Pop the hood, player. Sure, man. Let's, let's do it. Now look at this baby. This is a quad core, straight six, fuel injected engine all right see these numbers right here three three zero zero that's the max speed on this car three thousand miles per hour i mean it, no. it may seem impossible but me and my cousin we soup this up what, soup this car up quad core fuel injected and we put nos in it all right so we can go three thousand miles back on the back roads right now let's actually um let's go ahead and look at this right here now uh this is for engine engine coolant right and it says engine coolant only well, we country folk don't do it like that. This is this leaks, so I just take water from my trunk, open up the lid, and put it in. Oh yeah, sorry. Let's let's go around to my trunk. Um, now, as you see, this car is old-fashioned, so no clicker buttons here. Let's go ahead and um, open this up. Now look at that space. Look at that space. But here we oh, haven't even got gotten to here. the to the, the good part yet. Yeah, right? Rock, what is that? Now this is the best jack and extra set of tires you will ever see in life. Come here. Come here. Look at that. That is great. That's amazing. I mean, I I don't even know why why I have it because it, I mean it Jesus. costs. I mean, if you Jesus. tried to buy it from I don't know like uh like any that's car fucking Bible parts right store there. like O'Reilly like uh, I don't know Sears like I mean you couldn't even get that for under ten thousand dollars. I mean, but it's it's just great. Yo, does this run on gasoline premium or something? Actually, this runs on biodiesel. Um, uh, so what I do biodiesel. is that I find roadkill I mean who likes roadkill I mean they're they're poor little animals on the side of the road that, that have died and people have to look at their corpses but I find them every morning before I go to work I go on the road I find the roadkill now I take them I grind them up right for their oils and then I take those oils and turn it into biodiesel renewable sciences oh shit. so my so car you recycle the dead skunks yeah it's true Biodiesel is one of the best fuels you can have. It doesn't produce methane gases into the environment, and also, you know, it, it, it just is more efficient than gas, and you can make it at home too with only a few knowledge of chemistry, right? So, it's perfect for, for this engine. This car has the most premium paint you will ever see. Look at that, pure silver, like all the way through. I mean, it's just top-notch grade. Won't, won't chip, won't rust, won't anything. Now, check out these wheels. These are chromed rims. I mean, who gets chromed rims? I mean, they're, they're beautiful. I mean, I it's perfect. This has been fun, Jay Slick. Let's go and ride and tell us your story. All right, sir. So my story, but first, I mean, this window goes down autom automatic watch. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna You're lying. push it push it once. Nah, you lying. Once. Nah. Look at it. Hands hands free, hands free. No, how right. do I do that? Do I press that little black uh, button right there? Uh, yeah, but uh, it, it, uh, those don't work back there because it's, you know, for like the children, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit! Nice. Woo! 
All right, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about my story. Well, me, you know, growing up in rural Tennessee, I mean, it was it was hard times. I mean, the parents, you know, weren't weren't doing the best jobs. They were working at the steel mill, you know, like, you, you, you know what? My 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 mother actually, she built chairs. She worked down at the factory since she was the age of twelve. Um, I mean, same. Uh, uh, child labor wasn't as strict back then before uh, you know um, FDR and like uh, 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 the New Deal came along. So I mean, that's great. But the New um, Deal. Uh, so, uh, when I was about the age of six, um, I started to pick up fishing, right? And, you know, it was something I liked, it's something that I enjoyed to do, you know? Like, I mean, I did it with my father and my grandfather, you know? And, like, I actually thought that I could go pro. So, in 2007, when I was 17, I went to the Bassmaster Classic. I mean, I was just a, a fresh greenback, fresh out of the, fresh out of the pond, right? He's a so, fresh green black. So, I... So I took my small tackle box, my fishing rod, and I went out. So, you know, I was just throwing like some frogs, some lipless uh, uh, crankbaits, you know. I threw like a worm too, like I threw it just, just like right past, past, the, past the past the like the brush See, and stuff. We don't do this in my homeland. We don't do this in my homeland. That's dangerous. Uh, well, dangerous man. Well, here in America, we uh, like, like, like to fish and we love people. So, I mean, that's like something that we as Americans like, so. What do you do to the fish? Uh, well, uh, me, uh, since I'm a lover of nature and gluten, I just throw it back in the pond because the symbiotic relationship between it and the moss, I mean, I don't want to kill that. I mean, it harms so the environment and it harms vegan. people. You're you a vegetarian. No, no, no. I am, I am a uh, gluten enthusiast. I mean, oh, oh. so so I eat meat because, you know, meat is the lifeblood of all Southerners. So, I mean, I just don't eat bread because that harms me. So, I was just... Uh, Back to my fishing story, right? Yeah. Back to my fishing story, right? I was throwing some uh, worms, like, past, past the brush, and then I caught the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. It was a 10, 10 pound bass. Now, I went back to weigh it, right? That sounds pretty intimidating. And the pros, they were just laughing at me because I was 17 years old at the Bassmaster Classic, and, but then I pulled out my fish, and they just stopped. Now, I pull out now, my fish, they don't stop. Now, since since then, um, I was gonna go pro. I mean, I won the Bassmaster Classic, but then one day, I was at my uh, normal job filing papers at my um, local paper distributor, right? And I was typing up orders. You a paper filer? Yes. You, you Daily Planet? Yes. Oh, Daily Bugle? Uh, yes. Spider-Man? Actually. Superman? Yes. I mean, uh, that's, exciting. That's, that's, that's exciting. That's something I do. I file papers, but I was typing my report, right? Just going fast. And then all of a sudden, I extended my pointer finger a little too much. Snapped it. I couldn't Ooh. reel in fish anymore. I, 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 I sat there at my desk crying for hours. I that's was emotional because I couldn't do the thing I loved. I couldn't fish. I couldn't be a fisherman. Ooh. To and to to a person like me, that that is terrible. That's scary. So I mean, that was that was it. That was the story. But now, look at how many miles are, are on this car. One hundred fifty-seven thousand miles. Mm. This car's mm. been through a lot since we built that engine. Look, but look at it. it's it's lasted that long because American ingenuity and smarts got us through it. Listen, John Hines, I've never heard a most touching story. You are a good man. Thank you. And I can't just do this show without le with leaving and then knowing, what could I give this man? I mean, you're a guy. You're American white folk man, right? Yes. Gluten free. Gluten, Gluten free. free. That's how true. many? How big your mileage? One hundred fifty-seven thousand. One hundred fifty-seven thousand for a gluten free man. You yeah. don't see a lot of those. That's some. That's a Martin Luther King <laughs> right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know what I'm gonna do for you right now? He could be hella surprised. You know what I'm gonna do for you? What? What? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, I am. Close your eyes. Hope it's gluten free. John Hans. Yep. I'd like to present to you my my favorite. I mean, this is Sour Patch Kids. Look at this. This Sour man, sir, sir. I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. No, I. I I know. I, thank you so I, much. I mean, it's, I know. it's, it's I know. great to, you know, no, I know. sort of give, I know. Him, give a man gum. I mean, that's that's the greatest gift. 
I could ever receive. Thank you so much. He's not the only one. Keep watching the tell and tweet hashtag John Hines gluten free. We giving away hella gum sticks away to the African children. Hella, I be saying hella more than ten, less than twenty, but still more than ten. We outy here, okay? Got against if I'm jumping out of this car. Stop this car right now. Stop this car. I'm out. Unlock this car. Unlock this. Unlock. This. Unlock this. Sorry, this sorry. The like locks are broken. I think a little bit, but. Hashtag John Hines gluten free 150,000 mileage. Peace out. I'm out. That man is the greatest man I've ever met in my life. <laughs> this is MTV, this is my car. I am caught against stiff. He is John Hines. Gluten is bad for you, America. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We with the couple right now. So what I've been thinking about is, you know, how we just love fishing and motorcycling it's and true. our it's true. beautiful car. And I was just thinking how amazing that's gonna be once we, you know, have kids and we can share that. You can teach them how to fish and how to drive your car. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, for sure. I mean, like uh, going on trips across across the country, you know, just like fishing with like, you know, no children. I mean, that's, no, that's I'm, just great. Well, I mean, I mean, I think we could have like a few children, you know, once we're like married, you know? Oh yeah, like, you know, like going like going on trips, like with cars and like, you know, like seeing, seeing like nature and stuff thinking. and like having like, no like, like gluten. I mean, and no gluten and no children. I mean, that's that's kind of like. Well, I, I think what you I was can thinking. have no gluten, but with the no gluten, you want to share that no gluten with. Ah, uh, all right. I offspring. see. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, but you see, he he don't want no kids. Well, if you read behind the lines, he don't want no kids, lady.